today we are going to talk about neurogenic bladder which is also called uninhibited neurogenic bladder and it is basically caused by lack of inhibitory signals from the brain so basically inhibitory signals coming from the brain toward the spinal cord are disturbed due to which the bladder is so much excitable that even a small amount of urine in the bladder can cause micturition reflex now to properly under understand neurogenic bladder or uninhibited neurogenic bladder we must know micturition reflex now i have explained micturition reflex multiple times in my previous lectures if you are new on this channel i will explain it quickly and then we will come back to the neurogenic bladder so basically what happens is that micturition reflex occurs when there are micturition waves or micturition contraction in the urinary bladder suppose for example this is the urinary bladder and the amount of urine in the urinary bladder is increasing so this is the amount of urine it is increasing now initially the urine was 200 ml now it is 400 ml at this point as the urine volume increases the pressure in the urinary bladder also keeps on increasing this pressure is basically the tension in the wall of the urinary bladder but apart from the tension in the urinary bladder wall which basically keeps on increasing with the increasing volume there are some contractions there are some contraction or waves known as the micturition waves or micturition contraction these waves these contractions basically cause periodic contraction of the urinary bladder and those contractions are basically important for the micturition process or the urination process these contraction process these contraction the micturition waves or the micturition contraction they increases they their frequency and their intensity increases as the amount of urine in the bladder increases so you see here is the intravesicular pressure here is the urine volume as the volume is increasing the the tone the basal tone is increasing and on top of that the contraction the frequency of the contractions and their intensity also is increasing now how this micturition reflex basically starts micturition reflex starts when there is urine collection in the bladder and as the urine starts collecting there are some receptors the receptors are basically sensory stretch receptors which get which get stretched with the increasing volume but they are specifically present in the posterior urethra as this region gets excited as the receptors get stretched they send signals to the spinal cord and then the spinal cord send signals toward the bladder and the bladder st uh, basically starts contracting the nerves basically which takes the signals toward the spinal cord they are the sensory nerve and the send the nerves which are basically uh, bringing the signals toward the uh, urinary bladder they are the motor nerve and both the sensory and the motor nerve are basically going through the pelvic nerve now we know that this micturition reflex which is basically starting due to the receptor receptors and then the signals are coming back towards the bladder and in and the basically the sacral segment of the spinal cord is involved in this process but but we have explained uh, multiple times that the brain is also involved in this process the micturition reflex although it can start at the sacral segment but the brain centers in the pons in the brain uh, stem and centers in the cerebral cortex of the brain they basically send some facilitative signals the facilitative signals basically help the segment of the spinal cord to start the micturition reflex and they send inhibitory signals as well which basically stop the micturition re reflex from from starting so the micturition reflex basically can start in the urinary bladder and can be executed completely at the sacral segment of the spinal cord but the brain also have some inhibitory or facilitative signals which basically helps in starting and stopping the micturition reflex we have discussed the role of brain in starting and stopping the micturition reflex or helping the micturition reflex now if the inhibitory signals if the inhibitory signals the signals which basically try to stop the micturition reflex which basically try to stop the micturition reflex if those micturition if those inhibitory signals if they are stopped if these signals the inhibitory signals which are coming from the pons and the cerebral cortex if those signals are lacking if they are cut down due to some problem in the spinal cord or due to some problem in the brain then the, there is no inhibition of the micturition reflex then as soon as there is a small amount of urine collection in the bladder the micturition reflex will start directly because the inhibition the signals from the brain which were basically stopping the micturition reflex from occurring they are now lacking due to some damage in the brain or due to some damage in the spinal cord those inhibitory signals are inhibited the inhibitory signals themselves are inhibited or stopped or lacking or due to damage in some, the some segment of the spinal cord or brain so the facilitative signals are coming the facilitative signals are coming so this segment is super excitable a small signal from the receptors in the urinary bladder a small amount of urine is sufficient to cause the micturition reflex and when this condition occurs when this condition occurs when the inhibitory signals the signals which are trying to stop the micturition reflex when those signals are lacking such a condition lead to neurogenic bladder 
or uninhibited neurogenic bladder, a condition in which even small amount of urine in the bladder can start maturation reflex. That's all about the neurogenic bladder. Thanks a lot for watching the video.